Hello, and this week's talking about is like wow, special, very special. We are speaking to one of the most iconic women in the performing arts of Malaysia.、Uh, and when I say iconic, it's not just because of who she is; it's also because of what she is, of who she was with for a very long part of her life,、yeah. and also the fact that. She is a very good friend, and we consider ourselves to be reasonably iconic. So iconic people stick together. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, today we're talking to and talking about. Who is she? Marion de Cruz. Ah, wow. Ya, ya. Hi, Marion. Orang Jo. <laughs> Hi, Jo. Hi, Farida. Omar would be very happy because we're talking about another Johorian. Yes, Anak Johor. Yeah, Anak Johor. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, you are sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. You know, Marion. Don't、right? let me stand up and and sing the state we, anthem. We, we will leave you with that. What's the word, Joe? With that pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 we、uh, when you decided that yes, you would like to do this with us.、Uh, It's one of the very few interviews that we've done over the years that I've not had to research anything because、oh, our history. Get lazy then. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't need to. Our history just goes back so far. Yeah. And it's so full of joy and love and sorrow and heartache and drama and uh, uh, uh,、yeah. dementia. <laughs> so much of many、and、wonderful odd、years. memories. As you're saying that,、yes. I'm thinking of. Edinburgh,、oh、yes,、God. on the street where suddenly you had a nosebleed. That's right. Do you remember that? My God,、yeah. you got a memory. No, it just came yeah, into yeah, my yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, crazy. We've been, we've been to England together. We've been to Scotland together. We've been to most of the better restaurants in town together in limousines. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we can had talk champagne in the limousine. Strawberries、yeah. and chocolates. Oh、yeah. yes, yes. We can talk all about that. But I think just for the just for the sake of those people, God、know. love them, who don't know who you are、oh. and don't know your beginnings. Maybe, maybe there are lots too, and that's okay. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it's but、okay. it's isn't it sad? No. No. Oh, no okay, you can be it, nice about it. Sad, I don't have to be nice. It's ridiculous, Marion. It is. It's ridiculous. ridiculous. But anyway,、uh, how did Marion de Cruz start in this world of performing arts? Okay. Okay. <laughs> First question.、Huh? <laughs> right.、Uh, it's a funny story, as a lot of stories are. So when I was little, I was very very skinny. Gone are those days. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to hunch. Ah. And so my mom got worried, and and I was a bit of a tomboy, you know, climb trees and play in the drains, but still like that. So mom got worried and spoke to a doctor friend of hers and said, "Oh, this child is, you know, so skinny." And she said, and the doctor friend said, "Send her for dance classes. She'll straighten up." Ah. So then, first, Mum took me to a ballet class, which was in a club, some you know, one of these in Johor. Johor civil service club thing. And then I watched it, and I went, "No, this is too difficult. Not for me." <laughs> then she took me to a Bharatanatyam class. Ah, I was maybe about five lah, and I went, "No, this is too difficult." <laughs> so then the doctor friend, Doctor John, said. You know, just let us start school first and see what happens. So、Clever、doctor, I know. So then I started school, standard one, and coming from a family that you know sang and danced,、mm. and my brother, you know, played piano, and mum played piano and violin, and it was like we just sang our way through everything. And then later, my brother had a rock band and all that. Okay. So in school, it was the concerts, standard one. Sister Stevens <laughs> did the entire Swan Lake. Whoa! With us standard oneers who had never done ballet in our lives. My you God! You should see the photographs. My God! They、you、are. Still, I have got photographs. You still have it. I、What、have got photographs、ah. of my six-year-old self doing Swan Lake. Where I look like an ugly duckling <laughs> instead of a swan, <laughs> you know. It's so funny. So then I, you know, gained a bit of I don't know confidence or whatever, and started 
ballet classes with uh, Francis Yeo. Mm. Uh, and then when Francis Yeo gave up his school, uh, went to this other teacher, Mrs. Lustig. That was the first proper Joho Ballet. What a ballet lovely story. School. And, then, and yeah. then you bought a big urn, filled it up with water. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> no, but that was <laughs> many years later. Yeah. That was, but there was something that Mrs. Lustig said to me. You know, by, so I did the ballet exams and all that, and I was also doing piano. And dancing in school, and the school concerts, and Joe gets up in Inang in school. So it was all happening. And then when I was 16, it was the elementary exams where you had one section where they just play music and you have to improvise. Ah. Mm. And I always did very well in that section. <coughs> and Mrs. Lustig said to me, you should go into choreography. Ah. At 16, yeah. she said wow. that to me. And that kind of went, oh, what's so that? That you know? person had a lot of vision. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then after that, you know, I heard about USM having the performing arts program. Mm. Didn't want to go overseas, went to USM. Also, by that time, you know, we were all into the nationalistic fervor, mm. post-69, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Mm. What does it mean to be yeah, yeah. Malaysian? Mal Malaysian. Yeah. What does it mean to be Malayan? Mm. Claim your, you know, these are lines from Gostan Forward. Yes. Claim your nation, claim yeah. your nation. So USM, then Wayang Kulit and everything. Wow. And Gauss. Yes, the Gauss. Next yeah, major yeah. influence. And yeah. Christian. Bef before Christian, yeah. Gauss. Oh, oh, no. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because he was, you know. Sorry, doing... when you say Gauss, you mean you and Gauss? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, okay. As in, okay. It's the love for dance. <laughs> As in influence on my dance, because yeah. he was already doing like Joget in Leotards. Or he was mixing Malay dance ah, and ballet Malay dance too. And you know, I'm you know my 21 year old self is thinking, wow, you can do this. Yeah, you can do this. And you the know? Marin loved this kind of challenge. Ah, but this was this really opened but my Marin, world. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you are a kind of a devotee of Martha Graham, are you not? I wouldn't say a devotee, but no. I influenced yeah. by her at all, or you just like. I did You'd poem like, technique, right, and right. for a while I was hooked on it. Okay, but okay. you know, moved, moved right. away. Yeah. But I think you know the sort of more major influences were Mrs. Lusty, uh -huh. go be a choreographer, Gauss, yes, mix it all up and find your identity, yes, and then you know. Wait, does Christian, he know this story, Mary? He knows. Yeah. Ah. But but you are not you are not what one would call your your. Uh, everyday kitchen and garden choreographer. You you're you are beyond that. You're yeah. you're you're not Yeah, a huge tub with water choreography. Huge tub with yeah, water. no, but you're not you're not you don't fit into that norm. No, 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 no. at all. I don't fit no. in But that's you I anyway, think, isn't I it? I think I did maybe in my early works, yeah. but yeah, moved out. And the not fitting in I think is yeah, la, it's alternative, and but yeah. it's it's good and bad. La. The that's less, part of your the personality less, yeah. anyway. The less yeah. people can understand her, the more she likes. No, it. no, no. <laughs> it's actually not true. It's just that I actually just do what my the mind... It's, it's not that I'm like purposely trying to be out of the box and so weird. Okay. Um, I mean, every piece that I've done or every like even two minute solos and things like that, which were like so weird. It's really the idea comes and then you know, I just go with it and I have someone who says, yeah, 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 you know, to support yeah, yeah, me and yeah, say, yeah, go yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. So it was not trying to be so weird, but, mm. but the you weirdness. To be different. No, I didn't want to be different. I just, just was. was. You yeah, are, you were. You are different. Yeah, can we, it just can we get was on to, in my heart. Can we get heart. on to how Five Arts came about? Because that, you know, it's one of the oldest the theatre companies. Hang on. That. No, 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 no. We will. That will lead into many, many okay, other okay, things, okay. right? <laughs> will it not? Or, yeah. Yeah. Or for should sure. we go via Christian first? Either. Let's go to five arts. Okay, first. Right. <laughs> so, so nineteen eighties. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. Anyway, it has to segue into Christian now. Mm. So nineteen eighties, Christian had done Malay theatre for you know he he had after sixty nine right he committed mm. to Malay theatre as part of yes. his claim your nation, and then he did that I think for about 
10 years maybe mm. and then he decided that's it okay I'm, I'm going to go back to English language theatre whatever that meant but English language theatre as you know in the 80s was very much ruled by the Anglo-American canon mm. Shakespeare Tennessee Williams uh, you know good stuff yeah, good yeah, stuff but yeah. But not much homegrown stuff. Not much homegrown stuff. And so, you know, Christian and Sansui. Yes. And Kes Maniam and people like that decided, you know, we need to we need to do professional English language theatre with Malaysian stories. Mm. And actually I was not I mean I was there, but you know, I was like much younger. And these were very Pandai people lah. K.S. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christian Jit, yeah, yeah. Chin Sansui. Yeah, they're not idiots. <laughs> Red Sapia Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, so I was one, you know, ah. kuchi little lizard yeah. uh -uh. with these heavyweights. And they came up with this idea of Five Art Center. Right. So, and I, and because I was doing dance, and I was also interested in this East, West, mm. tradition, modernity, Malaysian identity. Mm. So my, my early concepts of contemporary dance fit into their vision. So I became part of that vision. Mm. And they're the ones. The brainchild was of mainly like Christian and Sansui. Yes. And then because they wanted visual arts in and creative writing in and, you know, so... Mm. Um, and in the... In the Beginning, it was called Five Art Center because it was dance, theater, creative writing, visual art, uh -huh. and the fifth one was okay. Anything that we might <laughs> want to do, we do music, <laughs> we do children. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was five. So the five was yeah, uh, Sansui and Kes Maniam in creative writing, Sansui in directing, Christian in directing, Pia in visual arts, me in dance. Mm. So you had. And then, of course, you know, it just yeah, spread it just, and opened up yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. did what it did. Lah. Yeah. Mm. And that, that was in 1984. That was in the 80s, oh. yeah, 84. Uh, that was, 84 was the year I actually came to Malaysia to stay. Yeah, when I, yes, yeah, that's, uh, so we... And before us, you know, in terms of independent professional type companies, Temple of Fine Arts was earlier than us. I think ah. 81 or 82. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sutra also, I think, was yeah. either 82 and also or 83. Instant Cafe. No, Instant Cafe is after. after. It was after you. After. Oh. After. Yeah. I see, and then I we, we came into being in 89. 89. 89. I think yeah. Instant Cafe also around, around that, that time, maybe. around that yeah. period. Yeah. So we were not like first, I mean, yeah. but not that but that they matters. Were, like. They were, you know, and I, I, I look back on those days, Marianne, and, and I think, Oh wow, they were such wonderful days. Yeah, pioneering. I mean, yeah. Oh my God, and the, the people that we could work with, and I mean, as, as we we collaborated so often so at Five Arts and the Actor Studio, yeah. and Christian and myself, and you and Farida, uh, and and they were, and not just Five Arts and the Actor Studio, but other theatre companies yeah. were doing such wonderful, groundbreaking work. We don't get that too much anymore, I don't think. Do you? I think, okay, to be very honest, I think in theatre, in music, in animation and in film, I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think there are a lot of young uh, practitioners yes. who are doing yes. interesting, groundbreaking work, interesting work you know okay whether it's groundbreaking or not but is it interesting is it hitting the audience is it making the audience think is it making the audience rethink their lives and their opinions mm -hmm. you know i think there are i think yeah. um, dance is not in there is it now dance i feel that's where my heart breaks mm. i feel what has happened in the industry in the last maybe 10 20 years is we have trained some fantastic dancers mm. high standard especially coming out of Aswara UM mm -hmm. Oopsie 
all these institutions that have this multicultural syllabus, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They can do Indian, they can do Chinese, they can do contemporary, they can do Malay, they can do Joget Zapin Inang. Beautiful dance. We have trained, not that you can train an interesting choreographer, but we have maybe nurtured yes. some very interesting choreographers, young choreographers as well. But this is where I see the problem, is that in the 80s, we had no choice. Mm -hmm. You do your own show, or you do your show, you invite Ramli and, mm -hmm. and Pit Fong into your show, or Ramli does a show, invite me and all that. And you get the work out there, and get your name out there. So like, within two years of Ramli starting or me starting, whether the work was good, bad or ugly, and there was, I'll be very honest, for my own work, I can say <laughs> there was some. There was very little good work. There was quite a lot of mediocre work, and there was some really bad work. <laughs> but within two years, we were household names. Yes, of course. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Fab and Breeze yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you know yeah. dishwashing yeah. liquid. Absolutely, we were household names. I mean, Marion de Cruz was the name. Good, yeah. bad, or ugly. Yeah, 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 As yeah. As yeah. Rumley, yes. It yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. The scene is very different right now in dance because one, young choreographers are not opening their own companies. Yes. It happened in the 80s, it happened in the 90s also with people like Kyong and Lena mm. Ang mm. and Aida Redza and Joseph Gonzalez and Shuhaimi Magi you know, opened their own companies. Remember in 1995 we did that when they dance, yes, ten yes. different choreographers, yeah. yes. and then East meets West in dance in mm. '96 or '98. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, they had their own companies, and again, the work was good, bad, and ugly. By the time you come to the 2000s, 10s, and now 20s, they're doing, they're, they're putting that that 10 minute, 15 minute work in like sweet, and short, short and short sweet, and sweet yeah. dance box. Yes, yes. And, be, and very few full-length work. Mm. Mm. Um, so their names are not getting out yes. there. Mm. So if I ask, you know, a, just a normal person, on, not person on the street, but person mm. who goes to, goes to shows and mm. all, you know, name me, you know, a good choreographer in Malaysia, they will still say Ramli Bryan. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Ramli is my age. Yeah. But not only, that that matters, but so there are people like Failul Adam, yeah. uh, Murni Omar, Naim Shah, mm. R Shah Razad, but, uh, Fauzi. Yeah. These guys, uh, Shafirul Azmi, yeah. Shahimi Sun. Marian, I, I think you, you kind of hit the nail on the head when you said that there are very few full length dance programs. Mm. You know, you're right. There are a lot of 10 minuters, a lot of five yeah. minuters, which is great, but it doesn't. Not making people, the name. People don't make a name on those little short yeah, pieces. Yeah, and people don't remember. Sometimes yes. I ask people, okay, name me an interesting dance piece that you yes, have seen. seen in the last 10 years. Mm. And they will say, they will say, oh, yeah, yeah, there was this piece. Uh, where at the end the, the stool falls and breaks. I go, okay, what was the name of the piece? Ayo, I can't remember. Lah. Mm. <laughs> okay, what was the name of the choreographer? No Don't idea. Know, oh. <laughs> Heart piece by Naim Sharazad. Ah. That's the piece. It's a damn good piece. Yeah. Um, do you know? Okay, I know because he's my, he was my student yeah, and yada, yeah. yada, yada. Yeah. So. Gets forgotten very easily. Yeah, you know, so. Yeah. So it's a. It's, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's a different ball game, and unfortunately, and they don't. Philol has done a few full length. Yes. Ones. Langkau, in transit, both very yeah, good shows. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you know, now he's caught up with Aswara mm -hmm. and all the work he has there, and family, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So those are choices people have to make. they yes. They're re it's reality. Um, so, you know, when I think of choreography in the local scene, there are good choreographers, but the names 
that popped into my head as yes, this person has done something consistently over the last five, six years. Li Renzin. Mm -hmm. Very interesting thinking choreographer. Mm -hmm. J.S. Wong. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, there are. But I just look at A.R. Riskade. Remember A.R. Riskade? Oh my God, yes. He's Nasi, Nasi Pute and... And what is he doing now? He's somewhere in Johor doing something. Really? Mm. Mm. Shafirul is a gorgeous in... person. And choreographer. Yeah, mm. brilliant gorgeous choreographer. choreographer. Shafirul Azmi's PETA, his final project, for diploma and for degree, were way ahead of his time. Really? You say I am alternative and thought, thinking out of the box. He was way out there, like Shuhaimi Yeah. A bit, you know. Yeah. A bit, a bit, a bit crazy. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> like, his Peter, I'm like, oh my God, this boy. Mm. Same thing with Peter Degree. He did a piece called Shopaholic, which was just amazing. And mm. when was that I, a full length piece? Full length? Well, no, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. When I look back at that work and go, Good grief, at 23, yeah. I was not doing <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. you know. So, you know, and some of these people, like Firul and some others, at that time, I offered, I said, okay, mm. I will produce for you. I will produce for you full-length work, mm. three works, 20 minutes each, or do your shopaholic again. Or when you're ready, come to me. But mm. is it because, Marion, these names that you mentioned way before our time, etc., they have the opportunity to be with talent around Asia and out, outside of Malaysia. Like they, they go at the, you know, they get, uh, they get to go to places like Korea and Japan. Indonesia. Indonesia, maybe India, part and, and so they are exposed. Yes, and we in those days were not exposed. Like you mentioned, Malaysian, you you were exposed just in Malaysia. But surely, if you are exposed to like Indonesian choreographers and all, you want to do more yeah, work, yeah. no? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yes, you do. But, yeah, so I why? But come back to this country. Yeah. Then it's another story. I think maybe partly, but I think it's it's a very complicated yeah. reasoning. Um, one is that they get these opportunities, dance mm. box, not mm. so they still fulfil. The other is that they are very, and this is actually a good thing. They're interested, most of them, in security, ah. job security. Ah. So they come back from studying overseas, mm. and if it, like like Philol, Murni, uh, Zining full-time jobs at Aswara. Um, Raziman, just beautiful yes. dancer and choreographer. He's just back. Full-time job at Upsi. I'm like... And sometimes I say to them, take a chance. Dance yes. for two years. Then yes. get the full-time yes. job. Mm. But yes. they say to me, teacher, the opportunity might not be there yeah. in yeah, two yeah, years' yeah. time. They, they dare not take the risk. Yeah. We did it backwards. I don't think that's very clever. <laughs> they are buying houses at the age of, you know, yeah. 25, 30. We did the part-time <laughs> jobs then, you know. Now we I didn't am, mind being poor. We Yes, we didn't yes. mind being poor. And now I'm old, I'm going, hmm, I don't own a house. <laughs> I don't have a pension. <laughs> I did some interesting work. So I'm not sure Always a good way. Thinking, different thinking. Yeah, mm. so their way mm. means something goes lah. Mm. Pyro, for but instance. Pyro, is it? Pyro? The Pyro. Bloom. 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 Yeah. Pyro. Such a gorgeous dancer. He's teaching mm. now at UITM. And I hear he's left. Oh, has he? He's left, has he? Yeah. Mm. But, I don't know but, what the reasons are. But just back to the story of, you know, I offered this yeah. to a few people. Yeah. Only one person came back to me. Six years, I'm telling you, sorry, because you're lying about Six years later and said, okay, teacher, I'm ready to do it. Ah. Wait. Ah. So I, this is Zamzuria Zahari. Ah, ha, ha. I saw her final year project in theatre in UM, which was the Usekan Rebab mm. one. And I said, Zam, you need to do this outside as a public show. Mm. When you're 
ready come to me six years later she comes she knocks on my door in my office we're in the same office in the same corridor and she says okay teacher i know what you know she got married she had babies so i said okay she, uh, she gave me the script i said you'll find a director no teacher i bought sendiri i go no you jangan buat sendiri find the director you think of who you want to direct if if you can't we'll discuss and together we'll find i'll find you a director she thought about it she came back and she said teacher what do you think of no zizi i said perfect perfect mm. what did we do we came to you yes yes, yes. yes. for your theater right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they did the show mm. they won all the prizes yes. <laughs> not yes. that the winning means anything yeah. but and from then she has gone from so she's the only one who took up my offer to make it happen mm. i didn't produce it in the end we were going to co-produce but i said no we don't need to let actor studio do it mm. you know take it on she, she did the workshop i think in five arts we gave her the space free to do right. a pre workshop and all that so she has really brave done it and she sings dances does all the traditional theater yeah. acts her children all perform mm. and aren't you proud of the fact that her sons are now also becoming so dalangable at a young age that eldest boy yeah. can do yeah. wayang kulit in mandarin yeah yeah wayang kulit yes in yeah. mandarin yeah he goes in mandarin yes he goes oh, to chinese school <laughs> Well there you go. There you go. There you go, you see? So but, all is but not magic lost. like this. All magic all is not lost. No. But magic like this sometimes you have you have one one in this land of ours and who will who will stand out. But that's okay. That's okay. Yes. Because there was one that's as okay. well. There was just one Marian, one Ramli. There's one, one Renzin now mm. and there's one Zam. Um, mm. That's okay, but I feel a bit Kasian no kasian because like what if Naim did more work mm. what if Firul did more work yeah yeah what yeah. if yeah the scene yeah. would be yeah. now the scene for dance it's popping with good dancers mm. but it's not popping with exciting choreography yeah it should be popping okay okay because they I've, are I've had okay. a gut full of dance can we now talk about theater can yep. can, can i ask now in this question <laughs> of course uh we haven't quite delved into her life with Christian because when mm. she mentioned just now USM and she mentioned also the age of about 18 or something she went to USM uh no i was already 20 oh because i went to the us okay, and still very yeah. young yeah. still very young was that the time when you met Christian and yes. he came into your life yes later uh you know we did a show i was only a first year student and i was in one of gauss's shows and krishan was fly in fly out write his ute and he reviewed the show this was gauss's sura suralaya dunia mm-hmm. which was really groundbreaking like at that time you know it was like screens and shadows and wine kulit and everything and there I was dancing because he was so excited to have one person who had done ballet and you know some jogets up in inang so whatever and krishan's review said a number of things about the show and there was one line that said for your student Marin De Cruz Marin De Cruz's prowess as a dancer something something although her feet were not pointed all the time like hello like you know <laughs> uh something 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 so you know then Gaur said to me oh you have a fan club in <laughs> in, in in KL you know Ute so we went I went okay uh then in i think the next year so that was 74 75 then i think 75 76 krishan came in as a fly in fly out lecturer mm. for directing and we were all taking directing mm. uh so we were in that class but you know we thought he was like a bit strange you know this a like, bit odd a bit odd you know <laughs> this guy coming from kl You know, in those days, Christian had that curl, yes, and his yes. hair was always like wet, like oily or something. <laughs> then he wore these t-shirts stretched over his tummy. And then he was to wear these white pants, you know, like this kind of polyester kind, kind of like 
Mm, okay, this is what care does to people. <laughs> or this is what Berkeley has done to someone, you know. So we were not like instant. Instantly, all of us were not, you know. But but then we were doing the directing class. And of course, you know, this was God was coming to teach us, right? Yeah. Ute was coming to teach us. And we did a production directed by Samad Said Pintu. Oh. And Zakaria Arifin was the guy and I played the wife. And it was the most terrifying experience of my life. And at that point, I realized, oh, I really cannot act. It's just too... Dance is so protective for some reason because you're using your body to uh-huh. tell the story. And even if you say a few words here and there, oh, acting, I hated it. And I used to like cry every night before getting on stage and like, oh. Anyway, we did it. And... That time also like, okay lah, he's the lecturer. Then in 77, I graduated. And actually I was in Ipoh uh, doing some project for my aunt for her Tarsisian convent and all that. And he tracked me down and said that he was doing a project in KL and he was looking for a dancer, would I be interested? So I went, okay, God's calling me. So <laughs> God is calling me. So I come to KL and the production is Bukan Bunodiri. Ah, okay. where he had discovered Khalid Saleh inventing, mm. selling medicine, Sirinabayu. So, so, the re- so the rehearsals were Christian. At the time, no stage manager, crew, all, nothing, right? In, in KBN, Christian, Khalid, me, and Danny, Muhammad Ali. Do you remember Muhammad Ali, the dancer at that time, this beautiful dancer? We used to call him Danny. Okay, so me and Danny doing when, you know, when he... And then there was a robot player. Oh, Khalid played the robot. There was one part where he sees his father and he min pila. And so Christian wanted a dance there. So Danny and I choreographed the dance and, you know, we did it. So these are rehearsals in KPN. During my vacation, I was going to go on and do my master's, right? I had graduated. I mean, I finished my first degree. So after rehearsal... Danny would go off on his merry way. Khalid would go off on his merry way. And Christian and I would go and makan minum. Mm. We'd chill. And, and that's so, how it all happened, isn't that's it? That's how it all happened. And then... Oh, at, no. the, at the Mamak's lah, it was where it happened. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh. Oh. At Equatorial Costa. Ah, <laughs> right. Christian yes, was yes. not going to sit in a mama. No. I was quite happy to sit in a yeah, mama, yeah. but not Christian. <laughs> no. no. And uh. then for nine years, this is what Christian says, lah. I did the joget. Mau tak mau, mau tak mau, mau tak mau, mau tak mau. You know, we broke up like a hundred times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Christian used to accuse me of my oh orthodox, Catholic, Malayali, ah. middle-class <laughs> morals. He was right. I mean, you know, the Catholic got to me. How could I be doing this? You know, he's divorcee, etc., etc., etc. 14 years older than me. I was terrified. But at the same time, like, yeah, it's totally and ish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was... Okay, sorry, I had to use this word because there's no other word it's I okay. can think of. It was a mind fuck. Right. Because in USM, before that I had boyfriend, before going to USM. Then in USM I had gone out with a couple of people and yeah, Fari, it's that face. It's like... Oh, you're so boring. Yes. <laughs> Not that I was so intellectually blah, 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 but why? You're really boring. And I'd be sitting there oh, waiting for the date. Yes. And like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if they're still alive. <laughs> well, one of them was very interesting, but we all know, Fari, who that person was. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, was he was very interesting, but, you know, he went on from... 
me to end to well, yeah. Okay. A whole, the rest a whole bunch of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We we are uh, we are. Uh, when I met Christian, it was like, yeah. oh, yeah. this is not boring at all. Of course not. How can so, how can Christian be boring? So it wasn't my. So what is it like then now? What is it like then now, living without Christian? It's bloody awful. I can imagine. I can mm. imagine. Every day I I go, why the did you go and die on me? Why did you die on me? Why does everybody die on me? My father, my okay, mother, she was 98, okay la. My two brothers, my yeah. sister-in-law, everybody is just my husband. Six in my immediate family. I look after they die. 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 You didn't somebody, learn your lesson. Don't look after. No, somebody said, yes. to me, "Stop <laughs> looking after." <laughs> so finally, with <laughs> mom. So funny. No, finally. Mary is so funny. Finally, with mom, somebody said, "Marion, you got it right because she's, she's not. She came to the brink so many yes. times yes. and did not go until she was ninety-eight. Mm. Yeah, I got it right the last time around. <laughs> but." It's awful. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's sure it awful. must be yeah, because it's, it's not just, word. you know, he, he... There's no other word. It's horrible. He is sorely missed. I mean, he, the, uh, irreplaceable. I mean, you can't... Yeah. You know, the, the, the man... I mean, I, I, I had the, the privilege and honour and, 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 of, of, and sometimes the, the, the sort of... I wanted to kill him sometimes. Uh, but I wanted to love him all the time, uh, and, and having having worked with him on so many occasions on so many productions, uh, it, the he's the way that he thinks is just beyond yeah. anything. It really is. It's beyond the everyday norm of, of what we think theatre is, you know. And and he makes you think. He's the kind yeah. of director who makes you think and I, I owe a lot to Christian actually uh, in my early days in Malaysia uh, and and you know I know that my missing him and Farida's missing him but can in no way compare to, to your loss and it, it wasn't a smooth marriage you know Ooh. It was a roller coaster, yeah, up, yeah. down, up, down, up, down, you know, in my head, okay, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a thousand times, but, yeah. you know. But but talking about the work, Joe, you know, he used to, he, he was my strongest supporter and my greatest critic, right? Mm. He used to, like, can't, uh, watch a rehearsal and go, you know, Marianne, you should stop working with non-dancers, what is this, you know, nonsense, you get some professional dancers, no, 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 no. I go, yeah, 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 yeah. But at the same time, he used to say to me, you're much braver than me, mm. you know, because you don't care what the audience thinks. Mm. And I'd say, no, no, I care, but at the same time, I have to come out of an urn, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I do care, I'm not so like, I mean, when I used to get the bad reviews, you know, in the early days, ah, Gilbert Almeida, Tony, Boy, something or reviews. other. You asked for a reader about getting bad reviews from Christian. From Christian. <laughs> yes, yes, no, I used from to Christian. get bad reviews and, you know, on Sunday, I used to just lie in bed and like cry the whole day. Oh, really? So yeah. it's not like, it's not, it's not about the review, but of course you want, it's not that I but didn't it was, care. It was exciting. But he, he used to say, to get, yeah, you're much uh, braver than me. And then you know, I used to go into his rehearsals and like once Emily and I go, uh, this is Ivan redoing it, I think. And I went in for rehearsal and I go, ah, yeah, no need lah, just do Emily in bicycle shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and Christian is like, get out of my rehearsal. He didn't say it, he didn't say it. <laughs> But do you remember the, the Christian conference we had here? Yes, yes, of course. And Ivan did In a Tux. Yes, yes. That yes, was yes. in memory of oh, that. Yeah. When I said, just do it in bicycle shorts. Yeah. And he did it in a tux. Yeah. Uh, Marion, I, I, I can't help but uh, remember the very first time that uh, I met Christian. Uh, and that was the very first time I'd met you as well. Uh, we were rehearsing uh, Norman Ahmed. Uh, at our apartment in uh, Desa de Mansara and the function room. Yeah, the function room. <laughs> the function room. The boy, famous where function. magic happened. Wow, boy, did magic happen there for a whole host of plays, yeah, not just. Yeah. But yeah. And I, I, I had read uh, 
Ute's reviews uh, uh, with a dictionary beside <laughs> me because I couldn't understand half the words that Christian wrote. All of us. Uh, oh, so I wasn't the only one, right? And my mom used to always complain. He always uses the word quintessential. Ah, quintessential. <laughs> he, yes, he has yes, to yes, find yes, another yes. word. I'm like, okay, mom, you tell him. <laughs> and. And I was very nervous at meeting him because I, 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 I mean, the man obviously came with a, a huge reputation. And, and then I remember him walking through the door. And, with Mary. And with, yes, yeah, he came in and then just behind him was a friendly face of Marion, <laughs> whom I didn't know at the time. Uh, and I, thought, I saw this man and I thought, oh my God, he looks so stern and so... Then within five minutes, I felt at ease because we were talking and we kind of understood what each other was saying and, and then I think the rest of it is history. We fell in love, uh, all of us fell in love with each other and we did so many wonderful things together. Uh, Less. Yeah, so it was Less. really, yeah, yeah, so with much love, yeah. Uh, you. Um, I, 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 is, there a, is, is there a way that you can describe your life, Marion? Uh, because I'm going to go next to the traumatic moment of your, your moment with cancer. It's not like you haven't gone through a life filled with so much, so much. And then to have cancer come into the equation, how did you manage, how did you handle that? I remember when I called you to tell you, yeah. and you just started crying and crying and crying. And I'm saying, no, Fari, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay, I'm okay, don't worry. Um, it was horrible. Shocking, you know, one day I'm having a shower and what's this? And then things just rolled. Um, it's still not nice. <laughs> meaning, meaning, you know, every time I, you know, I'm naked, I'm like, okay, what's going on down there? <laughs> you know. Uh, and, uh, I guess a mastectomy never lets you forget. Because, you know, I keep having weird sensations on the left side. Um, tightness in the armpit because they removed 70% of my lymph nodes. Oh. So there's tightness, although I do all the exercises. And because I was very, very, you know, disciplined about doing the exercises immediately after the mastect, I have full range of my left hand. Some people after a mastect, can only lift their hand up like halfway. Mm. I full range, I can do everything. I guess that was my dancer's training. I just do the exercises every day and I still do. But you know, there'll be tightness, then suddenly there'll be itchiness, then there'll, suddenly there'll be like itch on the left nipple. But I'm thinking, no, but I don't have a left nipple. <laughs> you might have to cut this out. But anyway, you know, like, oh, okay. No, we don't have to cut it out. <laughs> yeah, but you know, so it never lets you forget. And then, because of chemo, I've had long-term side effects of chemo. So for, for about a year, I had very bad stomach. Every evening, start at 5 o'clock, a lot of wind and na 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 na. And they say it's because chemo kills the good stuff and the bad stuff. Mm. So it destroys the, the lining of the intestines. So I had that. That seems to have settled. Then I got, last December, this time, I suddenly had some weird kind of inflammation in my nose. Then I had to go to an ENT. Then in the middle of this, this year, I had inflammation in my ear. And then I had to go to the ENT. And they, and they, they all say it's the long-term side effects of chemo. So on a daily basis, everything is kind of is stable. My health is stable right now. I have weird sensations under my feet, like always like pins and needles or like I'm walking on, like I've got mm. tissue paper stuck and I look and there's nothing. So all that just, you just, on the one hand, learn to live with it. On the other hand, it's weird, but I'm not in 
pain and I'm not suffering. And I went through the bald phase and I went through the chemo. And while it's all difficult and cancer sort of just keeps um, reminding you, sometimes you know, when I go for my uh, appointment with the oncologist, I'll say, I'll make a slip and say I'm cancer free and the doctor will say, you're in remission. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Because all this happened in the middle of 2019. Mm. So I'm only two and a half years. And I take medication every day. That has side effects. So the mm. aromidex, you know, then has side effects on the bones. So kind of take another med medication for the bones. And then you cut the estrogen because mine was an estrogen cancer. So then the hair is dropping, you know. It looks like it's a lot. Actually, if you tie it up, it's a little rat tail mm. and aches and pains and so on and so forth. But that's the bad part. The good part is Farida and Joe, I had so much help and support. Family, after my mastectomy, I stayed with my nephew for two weeks and my niece for two weeks. And they live in these seven star resort houses, mm. everything done for me, you know, the, the helpers and everything, friends, uh, doing my grocery shopping, you know, Ann James, Janet, Mark mm. Chu, Carolyn Lau, uh, Ann Lee, till today, sometimes I'm like, oh, my hair is dropping, you know, so I'm like chatting to Malin, I go, can you, you because Malin is very good at these things, can you see what kind of shampoo and then she ordered the shampoo and sent it to me because I'm no good at online shopping. So many people, mm. so many people have just run and run and run for me and still are running. Yeah. So That's the difference when you what? have such an amazing support system. You know, it's, uh, yeah. it, it certainly makes a big... So and, and you're very fortunate, you're blessed in many I'm ways. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I go, wow, you know, I guess what goes round comes round. Mm. Because, you know, I have been, I don't know, I guess, helpful yeah. to all these people, including family. And mm. yeah. so, so if one must get cancer, two things, ask. Ask for help. Mm. Oh, not just cancel like anything. Just mm. ask for help. Pick up the phone or whatever it is. Say, Anne Lee, Anne James, whatever it is. Can you do my grocery shopping? Can you buy this for me? Can you do this for me? They say no. You ask someone else. Mm. They say no. You ask someone else. Yeah. yeah. You, so, you mentioned one thing earlier when you, I think we were off air. When, when Farida was, ask, uh, was asking you about a book, whether you'd written a book or not. And, and you said, oh, you've written a lot of different stories, and one, one with one word and one with 350 words and out there. And the one word one you mentioned was mutilation. And I thought, mutilation? What a wonderful title for a dance piece. I and mean, it's, it, it would be, it would be, it would probably kill you emotionally. It's not an original because... It's not? It, meaning, you know, that word came from someone else. Oh, I see. Who did cancer, yes. breast cancer, and I was reading the article where she talks about feeling mutilated. Ah. And I went, that's the word. Yeah. That's the Mutilation. word. Mutilation. And this writing thing, one day, Oh, I was still doing chemo at that time. Uh, I was in my living room. Janet was there, and James was there, and Muna was there, Janet's daughter Muna. And we were just sitting, you know, eating pizza or something and having drinks. I was not drinking because I was doing chemo. And suddenly I just leapt out of my seat. And for 10 minutes I just raged. I go, do you know what the... Anger. Anger. Uh, anger. I have been mutilated. <laughs> Took off my top. I opened my thing, I showed them the one breast and the scar, I took out my prosthesis, my, my falsy, shoved it in their faces, here, touch this, why is there nipple? Uh, 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 uh. Then I sat down, like, uh, uh, uh. and they were like laughing and crying at the same time. 
And then I said, okay, I'm going to do these little soirees in different homes. Five people, ten people, don't tell them what's going to happen. <laughs> Invite them for a wine and cheese party. <laughs> and then like everybody is doing that, suddenly like, oh, ah. <laughs> And then, like, ah. <laughs> look at this stuff. <laughs> Then COVID happened. Yeah, you couldn't do a thing. <laughs> Lockdown happened. Forget the soiree. So I'm like, I got to do something. I got to do something. Oh, Mary. Do a dance piece. No, then I started. That's why I started writing. I'm ah. not a writer. I hate writing. I'm the only practitioner academic I know who's published five articles in my life. Anis has published 500. Yes. Joseph has published 200. Yes. I published five. Huh? I'm not a writer, I hate writing. But I couldn't tahan anymore. So one day I just. December last year. But uh, wonder, 45 wonderful, stories. Wonderful, wonderful therapy, in one yes. Year, in one year, you wonderful managed therapy. 45. That's mm. not a bad record. And it was so liberating because no end game. Yeah. No responsibility to anyone. All right. No, I have to prepare and go into the studio and no, what am I going to rehearse you. today? Yeah. You want to write? I read how to be a writer and I followed one thing for just the first month. Go to your document every day. Now, they say at the same time for four hours and all. Uh, I went to the document every day for about a month. Sometimes I would just look at it for five minutes and close. Sometimes I would... Sometimes like... But your I did own, it. Your own inspiration. I did it yeah. for a month. And we, then, you know, I, by which time I had a number of stories and I go, okay. We, we, we have to unfortunately finish up. Uh, but I, I honestly feel that we haven't even scratched the surface. We really haven't. Of Marion de Cruz. Well, of Marion and her life with Christian and her life as an Dance. artist, uh, uh, as a creative person, as a teacher, uh, as a role model. Uh, and I, I, I think we, we, we are going to be forced to eventually have a, a Marion de Cruz part two and possibly a Marion de Cruz part three. No need, no need. You've got a lot of interesting people no, to no, talk to. No, no, but there are, there are, you know, when you're talking about your life, and your life with Christian. Uh, and, the next and, one must be with her book. Well, we'll see that. Yeah. We'll see if she ever yeah. finishes it. She ever... I, I don't think I'm going to publish it. You are or no, you're no, not? No. But, oh, but, you're not. But you can read this it. This is just for you. Uh, but you can share it. Can read it. Yeah. yeah. Can, read it. can read it. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. And Both. chatting with us. You, you know Mary. we love you very much and we oh, know you yeah. love us. I definitely love you both I know, so much. I know. And and, and, thank and you so I much. hope I hope Christian is looking down on us and, and sort of saying I think Christian's yeah, laughing at the you, stories that she's yeah, telling about the but cancer. But I'm, I'm sure he's thinking you know, you, you, you could have told more interesting stories. I know, I know. I know yeah, that. yeah. But anyway, <laughs> Marion, thank you. Thank you for joining us on Talking About. And I hope everyone notices that Farida and I have got red, red frames. Ah. These are very important yeah, details. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is true. This, this is very true. It all depends on whether Kobar has got his color bars right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it. Enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on, uh, on you, Talking Marianne. About. And, uh, we love you. We'll see you next time. And yes, we do love you, Marion. Love you both. Thank Bye. You. Thank you.